Good morning. It's Tuesday, September 26, 2023. My name is Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Smooth Talk, Poison Heart. And our scripture is Romans chapter 16, where the Apostle Paul writes, And now I make one more appeal, my dear brothers and sisters. Watch out for people who cause divisions and upset people's faith by teaching things contrary to what you've been taught. Stay away from them. Such people are not serving Christ our Lord. They're serving their own personal interests. By smooth talk and glowing words, they deceive innocent people. But everyone knows that you are obedient to the Lord. This makes me very happy. I want you to be wise in doing right and staying innocent of any wrong. The God of peace will soon crush Satan under your feet. May the grace of our Lord Jesus be with you. Apostle Paul could speak to the believers at Rome with confidence because his heart for them was filled with genuine love. This is the same love that God had for all humanity displayed on a cross at Golgotha, the town garbage dump of Jerusalem. From the earliest moments of Jesus' ministry, people were either blessed or angered by the carpenter from Galilee. Those who received his love told the truth about how their lives had changed. Those who resisted his love told lies about Jesus then and still do. To the people at Rome, Paul had brought the message of God's gospel of Jesus Christ. The result was gladness in the hearts of those who heard with open hearts. For the self-righteous, powerful rulers, they responded with angry venom. Jesus was crucified by that same kind of prideful human rebellion. The apostle called those who were misleading innocent folks smooth talkers, using glowing words but having selfish motives, a poison heart. That is, unfortunately, not a phenomenon confined to the first century. Lies are everywhere in every era or community. It began in the Garden of Eden as the serpent smooth-talked Eve into the first bite of rebellion. And it continues today to write the tragedy of refusing godliness in favor of selfish gain. You'll see it in every walk of life, when there's something to be gained, whether it's money or power, prestige, or just some evil satisfaction, a clever lie will be the hinge upon which the door of deception swings. A church I once served was without a music director. Of all things, I, who cannot even carry someone else's tune, was leading the singing. A group of a dozen visitors showed up one Sunday morning. After the service, Carl, a very distinguished-looking member of that crowd, invited me to come visit him the next evening. Well, I showed up at his place and was treated to two hours of Carl lauding his musical talents, complete with a solo performance and framed music course certificates. The evening ended with Carl's statement, Preacher, me and those other families want to join your church if you'll make me the song leader. Well, I told him I thought he and those other folks would probably be happier in another church. Now, I didn't know the man from Adam's house, Cat, but I did know that any time there's an offer with an if, you're in the middle of a business transaction. Well, I needed a music director, but this was Mount Temptation. I later found out that the man had split two other churches with his quote-unquote marvelous music. His wrong reasons had plenty of sound right, complete with certificates to prove it, but they were still wrong reasons. He cared nothing for the church he was so generously offering to serve. It was his agenda and pride that mattered to the song man. For you today... It's not a genuine Christian trait to walk around in suspicion expecting to hear a lie in every place. On the other hand, we are to be wise, understanding that there are plenty of lies told, and always with a motive to gain something for the smooth talker. The best way to defeat deception is to follow Jesus' example. He got up early enough in the morning to spend quality time with his Father. So, go thou 
and do likewise. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.